Hi, everybody. Welcome to Father, Son, and Skillet. My name is Alden. I'm his son, Owen. And this is a skillet. A very ugly skillet, yes. Yeah. This is the good twin. And what we're going to do today is show you how you can take this and turn it into something more like this. These are both Wagnerware number no. eight uh, from made in Sydney, Ohio. Uh, they're approximately the same age, give or take. Now, the nice one I've had since um, I was a student. And I was engaged to my now wife, and her mother gave me a set of skillets that she wasn't using. So I've been working on this one for 45, 46 years now. And this one, we found in a antique store and it was uh, it's in good shape. It's just dirty. And we'll show you how to get past the dirt and start seasoning this up so then you can use it. So stick around. All right. So as dad said, we're going to be working on this pan and it's mostly just dirty. If you look, there's not much build up on the outside. It's pretty smooth. Inside, it's pretty dusty. There's some minor rust spots here and there, but nothing huge and no big uneven spots. Talking about dust buildup on the outside, you can see that the one we use a lot actually has a lot more buildup on the outside. But the inside. But the inside is so much nicer. Now inside of this one, you can see there's dust and cobwebs. We bought it about three, four years ago at an antique store, and it's been sitting out in the garage since then. The rings inside of it, we've got a few other bits of cast iron we use out on the grill, and we just kind of put them down in this. So grease spots and stuff like that. That'll come out easy. So how do you clean up cast iron? Well, a couple of different tools you can use. Simple little scotch Bright kind of sponge like this. These work fine. This chainmail dobe pad, for lack of a better term. This is actually a Lodge product sold by them for this job. It works pretty good. There's also steel wool. Stainless steel like this, sometimes you see it in copper. Nice, old-fashioned, cheap. We'll be using this, but we've already got one in the sink, so that's what you'll see. The first thing we need is hot water. About as hot as you can stand on your own hands. Um, there we go. And like we said, we have this that we scrub dishes with. A lot of people will tell you that you really shouldn't use a scouring pad like this in cast iron. And normally I might agree with them. But in this case, we're trying to get the worst of the gunk off of this inside and out. So we'll use this. We're not pushing down very hard, just scrubbing it out, uh, making sure there's no thing stuck to it. Like the cobwebs we like can see. Like the cobwebs that we keep gumming up in here. But there we go. And the next thing we do is we take it over and plop it on the stove. We put this on this burner as low as it'll go, nice and low and slow, and we let all of the water evaporate out of it. And then we'll come back and start to season this pan. So our pan is mostly dry, as you can see, and the next thing we do is apply a little bit of seasoning to it. First of all, I'm going to protect the handle from my hand, or vice versa, with this little nice little silicone thing that you can find something like it. It's a great thing for cast iron because those handles can be incredibly hot and you don't want to just grab one and, you know, sling it across the kitchen because you're screaming in pain and using theological words out of context. So we'll uh, put this on here and we'll 
do the one thing we need to do. It's just a little bit of oil and a paper towel. And we're just going to rub that all over the inside of this. We can feel that it's pretty much smooth all over inside and it's in pretty good shape. And we'll get it up the sides, cover these little funnel spots. You don't want to use too much oil, but you do want to get it all over this surface inside as evenly as you possibly can. And we're gonna leave the heat on under this very slow and just let it cook for a while. Um, Our funnel. I didn't notice you get it. Okay, made sure I got everything. Thank you, son. And you can see now we can take this paper towel, turn it inside out and start wiping up any excess in here and just let it continue to seep in. What we're actually doing is trying to achieve a very thin layer of polymerized hydrocarbons. That is what the seasoning is. It's a kind of plastic made out of the oil that somehow bonds at a molecular level with the surface of the iron and renders it a less reactive and more stable cooking surface. I will we'll call it good from there. We'll just let it get hot through for a little, a little while and we'll see if the uh, metal in here starts to get a little blotchy like the oil is spotting up or anything like that. But we'll be in, uh, we're basically done here, but we'll let it cook a little while longer. Okay, as you can see, the oil has gotten just a little blotchy in a few places and it doesn't look like it's completely black all the way through, but some of that is a trick of the light because you can see when you get away from the reflections that it is pretty much solid black all the way through. So as we told you, this pan was already in pretty good shape to begin with, but we're gonna give it one last wipe with paper towel and turn it off and then the pan is really ready to use. We want to get all of the excess off of this that we can so that it's not pooling or you don't have any little sticky spots. One of the problems that you run into lots of times if you put too much oil on a cast iron pan when you go when you're trying to get it seasoned up like this is that you'll have uh, actually sticky spots in the pan and it's not good and it takes it takes a lot of work to get it back off of there so you want to work away from having any sticky puddles or little droplets of oil that have had of uh, halfway carbonized but aren't all the way through so there you go, there's our pan. So thanks for joining us today on this little episode of Father, Son, and Skillet, where we took a skillet, now this is the good one. This is the one that's had all that seasoning over this time. And this is the one that we just cleaned up and it's very hot and I'm going to put it down right now. Anyway, remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Not that bell.